Simon Templeton from Age Concern. Kia ora koutou katoa. Kia ora. Thank you for the opportunity. As everyone else, it's actually probably quite fitting that I uh, follow that previous conversation. You'll know that it's in my submission, which I'm not going to read to you. <clears throat> my main role here today is really to uh, encourage you to do better for older people and to have a greater focus in your minds when you are developing any change. Uh, I see in the long-term plan the acknowledgement at the front end that we have an ageing population, but the devil will be in the detail. And similar to the previous person, you know, we're not here to say specifically how to meet the needs of but my role is to make sure you, you address and take into account the needs of older people. We all know we have an ageing population. Uh, the population of, of your constituents in 30 years' time, uh, a quarter of them will be over 65. That's well known. What might be less known, and I think more relevant, is the population of over 80s is growing by 283%. The population of the 95 plus is growing by 700% and our communities in the next 30 years. So when I'm talking about the needs of older people, you know, my organisation, we're generally not uh, coming into contact with the fit, active 65, 75-year-old that's well-connected with their community. It is the uh, older people that struggle, the older old, generally, uh, who are being locked out of their own communities. And I know uh, this council can't do much about the stopping of checks and the closing of community banks and things, but it really highlights the fact that we are uh, putting barriers up for what are going to be your biggest growth uh, in community. So I would love to see at every decision you make around this table for whatever it is. Because you know, older people are just people, they're parts of the community just like everyone else, but some of them have specific needs. The other thing I draw your attention to, and, and we are here to support, is the disability communities um, discussions with you. So 59% of those over 65 have a disability. So essentially, a disability is an inevitability if you're going to get to that age, which most of you statistically will. So where services and things can be focused on that disability community, you are also ticking the box for those older people who are likely to struggle with whatever it is you are focusing on, roads, transport, uh, rates increases. Uh, there are some specifics in my written proposal uh, which you will have read around uh, advertising better uh, the, the rates postponement and things for older people. I think it's a great option. Moving forward that 30 years, one real concern for us is, uh, and you will again be aware of, the dropping home ownership rates. And so by the time you know I get to that age, we'll be looking at about a 50% home ownership rate, which means 50% of older people will be in rentals. Today, if you are over 65 in a rental and reliant on superannuation only, you are effectively below the poverty line. It is a struggle. So every increase the council puts, which flows through to rent and other things, is a burden uh, on those people. So I'd love to see uh, a greater uh, acknowledgement uh, of that across uh, every decision you make, and whether that's a box you tick that everybody in these subgroups under you has to tick a box to say, we have addressed the needs of the older person, in the same way I know you have with the disability community, which is fantastic, uh, that would be great. Thank you. That's very clear cut. So thank you very much for your presentation. Pleasure.